Could you give us your thoughts, and perhaps we don't know the answer to this yet, about uh, the, the, the estimates you've seen or the talk around the fatality rate here? Because how different is the fatality rate that we're seeing so far to what we see with normal seasonal flu? Just trying to get our heads around the, uh, the size and the impact of this virus. So the virus is a different uh, virus to what causes influenza to start with. So the... Um the, what they're seeing is a case fatality rate. So that's the number of deaths per confirmed cases of about 3%, which is higher than would be seen for influenza. Um, but there may be um, a number of people who are, the, what we don't know is the number of people who are infected, but maybe not symptomatic or not going to hospital. So so there, there may be a larger number of um, individuals who are infected and yet not with, without symptoms. Right. We, we've, we've heard or I've read that the symptoms don't really show until two weeks after an individual has contracted the virus. And I wonder, um, is it contagious then before the symptoms show, doctor? I mean, is it possible that people who don't seem to have any kind of illness are already out there spreading the virus? It, it, it's not known for this virus. Um, I think what we know for SARS coronavirus, which is a related virus, was that it spread after people were symptomatic and that made the control of the infection um, somewhat easier. We do know for other infections such as influenza that people can spread the infections prior to being symptomatic and that makes the control measures harder. So we don't know for sure with this virus yet whether it can spread asymptomatic or spread prior to symptoms. What can you tell us about vaccines and the, the time that they normally take to be developed, any progress that's being made to develop one that will, could, could be used with regards to this virus? So there's been a big push to develop, uh, to rapidly develop vaccines for, uh, for this virus and uh, organizations such as Imperial College and uh, organization called CEPI are developing a number of parallel vaccine approaches. Um, it looks like we, uh, the uh, organizations developing vaccines may have the first in human vaccine trials done by the summer. Um, this is because the, it takes time to manufacture sufficiently safe vaccine material to put into people and then it needs to be tested for safety before it can be tested for whether it protects against people. So that it is an accelerated program compared to uh, what might be seen for other infections, but it still will not be um, online for four, five, six months. So that's a long time. Um, what do we know about the the rate of the spread of this virus then, doctor? I mean, last week we were reporting on um, a few hundred cases. Now we're reporting on a few thousand cases. If you extrapolate that out to the time when a vaccine is ready or some kind of medicine, I believe with SARS, there was actually um, an antibiotic that was quickly released. Um, how many cases could we see before there's some kind of treatment? So, uh the, with the vaccine, a, a vaccine won't be in place for a, for a, for a certain for certainly for a, several months. So, what needs to get into place is uh, effective control measures, and this includes um, simple things such as hand washing and uh, limiting contact between people. And the efforts the Chinese government are going to to control the spread of disease is very important in reducing that kind of number of cases. There may be uh, there are certainly drug trials going ahead with um, drugs that specifically target viruses. And so those drugs may reduce the infection and the number of cases, and those trials are ongoing. But to, these need to be uh, developed with obviously carefully and uh, with due consideration of the ethics of doing clinical trials in such a kind of ongoing um, epidemic. You, you mentioned the, the, the around 3% uh, CFR, case, uh, the, uh, the case fatality rate, John, which you said was higher than influenza. What do we know about those who have died so far, whether there have been underlying uh, pre-existing health conditions that have meant that was more likely to happen? What can, what can you tell us about that? From from what I've seen, um, it looks like the case the uh, the deaths have appeared to be in people who are maybe el uh, more old so, sorry elderly 
Um, so it may be that age is an increased risk factor for fatality, but I, uh, it's difficult to find full detail in such a rapidly moving situation. It's difficult to find all the details as to what's going on, uh, what is the underlying conditions in these cases.